All right, so uh, my name is Naren, and uh, I'm here to actually try and uh, make you some very popular coffee. It's been, uh, you know, it's uh, the name of Bulletproof Coffee has been around on the internet for a very long time, and uh, here's my attempt to try and make you that Bulletproof Coffee without having you to go out there on the internet and buy the MCT oil, the bullcrap oil, and all that kind of stuff. You know, you, you don't really need all those things because you don't know what's going in there. So, to make the Bulletproof coffee, there are some ingredients you would need. And I will tell you how to get those ingredients and at the at least expensive way. You need coffee. And uh, they say that you need a specific brand of coffee. You know, it's got to be whole, you know, uh, ground and uh, the beans have to be fresh. Uh, I would just go ahead and get you some instant Folgers coffee. It works just as good. The second thing they say is you need ghee. Uh, ghee is uh, nothing but uh, unsalted butter that's been melted down and melted to a point where um, you know the uh, uh, elements of uh, you know the water and everything gets evaporated from the butter and it gets a it gets into kind of like more or less uh, a yellowish color creamy item like this now this is called ghee and when you buy ghee make sure you buy what's known as a hundred percent pure cow ghee Okay. The third thing they say you need is coconut oil. I got this from Publix. I just made sure that this was organic coconut oil, virgin, organic, 100% organic coconut oil. There you go. That's your MCT or brain uh, food or whatever they call it. And to add flavor to that, I just went and got myself some pure honey. This is pure honey, and if you can get this honey from your local market, from somewhere within two miles of where you live, or within five miles of where you live, it also acts as an anti-allergy uh, product, because basically all your allergies are coming from the flowers due to pollination, and uh, the bees that pollinate in your area are going to actually... Um, produce the local honey in your own area and you consuming that honey builds you some kind of an immunity towards the allergies that you're going to get from your own environment or your own area as you may call it. Now uh, they say you need to add milk but I went a little further I went to Publix and got myself uh, coconut milk and the coconut milk comes in either the cans or you can probably find them fresh I just chose uh, cans. So the total amount of all these products is going to be, uh, the honey is going to be about $5. The coconut oil is going to be, I believe, uh, $4. That's $9. And then the ghee was about $5. That's $15. Uh, and then we have uh, coffee, which you can get in any different size for whatever price you want. I believe even... Uh, your ground coffee works, you know, whatever coffee you make works. And then the coconut milk is about a dollar. So you got about 20 bucks, let's say 20 bucks for the whole thing. But this 20 bucks is going to last you for about 8 or 10 cups of coffee. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this in a second. So let's go ahead and uh, show you how I'm going to make this. Uh, I would need to flip the camera around and uh, if it doesn't work then we're gonna start off again. Thank you.